Hi guys, this is KidLink77, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we uh, stopped Jessica from uh, killing David. Apparently, she was after David the entire time, not Domenico. And then we learned that she was under the curse of Rapthorn, who resides in the Scepter, and it was controlling her. And uh, apparently, uh, I think uh, Rapthorn has to like break the seal of a uh, of a bunch of sages, something like that. I don't know. And um, yeah, uh, he's doing some stuff. We need to figure out what's going on there, but before we do that, though, you know, we gotta make sure David's safe and everything, which he looked like he was doing fine, but what we wanna do is we wanna do some shopping, because it's time that we upgraded Jessica uh, to the max. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell a couple of things over here. Not too many things, um, like, uh, nothing important anyway. We'll sell the, uh, the vestment that we just got, because we don't need it anymore. We'll sell the assassin dagger, because we don't need it either. Uh, we're also gonna sell, uh, we're gonna keep the golden tiara. Now, this thing we made, uh, with the battle, the battle fork, and, um, you know, uh, poison pin, or poison needle, and, uh, um, devil sail. We're gonna sell the demon spear, because, you know, we're not gonna really be using it very often. You get a lot of money for it, so yeah, definitely worth getting it. And, uh, yeah, so we may not be able to get another one, but, again, I don't really care about that. And, uh, let's see, we're also gonna go ahead and sell, uh, we'll sell the broadsword. Uh, yeah, we'll do that, there you go. And, uh, one more thing we wanna sell. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll go ahead and sell that guy. And I want a little bit more cash, I think. Uh, let's see, and we'll go ahead and sell, sell the coral hairpin. And let's see, one more item, just to make sure I have plenty of goodies. I, I want at least, uh, like, 22,000 gold. Uh, I don't want to sell... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell... We'll go ahead and sell the dancer's costume, too, because I uh, don't really need that. We could make something with it, like, um, like some dancing nail, but, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about, you know, that. My magic armor's, I think, better anyway, so... All right, and with that, we should be good. Now we're gonna go ahead and buy the magic bikini for Jessica. And uh, yeah, we'll get into uh, <laughs> uh, that later. Now, where is Jessica? Oh yeah, she's not actually in our party yet, uh, apparently. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that, there you go. And now I wanna go ahead and buy uh, the uh, the bastard sword, um, you know, for, for later. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip it on eight because I think it looks cooler than uh, the one he has now. It's a little bit not as strong. Um, but, oh, uh, we'll say no. Uh, let's see, we'll say yes, and then go ahead and put it in the bag. There you go, okay. All right, and, uh, with that, I think we are all set. Uh, let's see, can I actually even, oh, yeah, just, uh, sadly, just, uh, just, uh, just the boys right now. All right, go ahead and transfer that over to eight, because I think he looks like a badass with it, personally. Uh, let's see, nothing too special. And, uh, we'll give the magic bikini to Jessica in a little bit. Look at that defense. Like, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's not, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, 50 demons, not bad at all. Okay. Not as good as Yangus's, but still, <laughs> what you gonna do? All right, and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's, uh, you know, talk around town. See if, uh, you know, see if David's doing all right after, you know, all that stuff. I mean, he must be just, like, in, I don't know, just, like, being going crazy about what, what everything that's going on. Apparently, he's, like, the, like, he's, like, a normal birth or something. I don't know. Hey, you. Uh, Master Domenico's been thoroughly depressed since Leopold ran away. Must have been a terrible shock for him. If you're looking for him, he'll be, uh, dining about now, I should think. Okay. Uh, let's see. And, uh, David. Uh, well, how you doing? There you are. Thank you so much. I'll, uh, never forget how you saved my life. This can't work out why she went for me, though. It doesn't make any sense. Said I was an heir to a great sage, but she's got it wrong. I'm just an ordinary man. No, I'm nothing more than a servant. Master Domenico's a noble one. I'll always serve him to the very end of my ability. Or, best of my ability. Okay. Anyway, there's no time to stand around chatting. I've got to go uh, look for Sir Leopold. wonder where he went. He can be a bit scary, but he's a very intelligent animal. Huh, okay. Uh, last time we saw him, he was over here. He had looked at the scepter when the scepter went flying. Huh. Hopefully he... Ah. He's a dog. I don't know what he'd do <laughs> with the scepter, so <laughs> it's probably nothing. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Domenico and tell him what's going on exactly. Is he just gonna party it? No, I guess not. Oh well. We're actually looking pretty weak, so I'll probably go ahead and rest up in the inn, uh, you know, um, uh, a little later. Uh, let's see. And Domenico, how are you doing? Oh, it's you. I've, uh, been feeling, uh, I've, uh, not been feeling well ever since I let Little Witch, uh, off, you know? Uh, it's not a physical matter. I've just got this uneasiness that I can't seem to shake. Hard to put it into words, but I'm gripped by the feeling that I've made a most almighty blunder. 
the great Dominical does not suffer from its decision and regret. I'm in no mood to talk now. Leave me. Come back and see me later if you need something. Okay, fine. All right. Well, uh, why don't we go ahead and you know just see uh, what else is going on in town? Maybe look for that scepter. Wait, what was that? Someone help! Come quickly! It's David. Wait, David? What? Oh no. Uh, do you have everybody? No, Jessica's still not here. Dang. All right, let's uh, see what's going on, David. What's going on? It's Leopold. He's got David with the scepter. Oh no. Oh, Dave, no, no. Whoa. No, the pupper. Oh no. I guess something else has happened. Now, there are only two left. You will interfere. No more. Oh, no. Got away, too. David? Oh, no. The... The seal... It looked like something came off of it. It's happened before. David? You, uh... You're looking kinda... Happy? That's... Not what I would expect in this situation. Oh, no. Please... Go after... Sir Leopold. I'm sorry, David. We tried. He... He's... He's the only one who makes us to Dominico happy. We couldn't stop him. That's that's the fifth death, the fifth person that that Without scepter's taken. Sir Leopold, us to Dominico would would be so unhappy. I wouldn't worry about him, but you, Master. Oh, no. We couldn't save him this time, either. We couldn't save Francisco or David. We tried so hard. What, what's happened? You weren't here for that. You didn't see what happened. David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Kubert? And you let him die. Why has it taken me so long to realize... Because you're a moron. You're stupid. You're cruel. You're a terrible person. I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... I... You're a fool. No. Just thinking about it is too painful. Is unbearable. <laughs> I'm sorry, David. I must apologize if I worried you. No, not at all. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. It's a shame you didn't realize that sooner. David would still be alive and your dog might not be, you know. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. Clearly. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. Clearly. I ordered my servants to bury David 
as the heir to a great sage should be buried. Nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Yeah. Will you do me one last five? I can't imagine what you want us to do, but I'm curious. What do you need us to do? I don't know. What can you do for us? What can we do for you? I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? What choice do we have? We'll do it, though. Yeah. We don't do it for you, though. We'll do it for David. That creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but mm. it's all I can do now. To send us on a quest to kill your dog? Okay. And I owe you something, too, for all the trouble I have caused you. No, 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 no. Just the, uh, the privilege of killing your dog is enough for us, clearly. Oh, yes. Hmm? Are you actually going to give us something good? I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Mm, I guess so, yeah. Allow me to awaken the dormant powers within you. All right, awesome. I guess that's cool. Doesn't make up for the fact that David's dead, but maybe that'll help out Jessica a bit. So yeah, now Jessica learns to sizzle and to crackle, which are two of the spells that she could use, uh, you know, against us, which is kind of nice. People say they saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. Okay, I guess we can do that. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. All right then. So, let's. Oh, Jessica's now in our party. That's good. That's good. So let's go and equip Jessica because uh, Jessica has. Uh, yeah, she's uh, been missing out on the action quite a bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and give her uh, her wit back, yeah, because she has nothing right now. No, I didn't want to do that. Ah, there we go. All right, go ahead and give her the wit back. Yeah, so be happy to have a weapon again. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and give her the um, ruby of protection. Let's see, there we go. Awesome. And we'll also give her, uh, we'll give her the hat or the uh, the magical hat because it's better than the uh, than the silver tiara. And then, last but not least, we will now give her. The uh, the magic bikini. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll shut it off in uh, in good time. There we go. And uh, yeah, so probably we'll end up sleeping in the inn. <laughs> Actually, oh, and there's one more thing I want to do. Uh, let's see. We need. Oh no, we already gave her that. All right, never mind. Okay. We also want to sleep in the inn because uh, we're looking pretty weak right now. So yeah. All right, let's uh head on out of here. And, uh, let's, um, let's, uh, you know, I guess start heading off north. We'll look, do that in a bit. There are some things I want to do before we do that, but, you know, we'll make it work. Uh, game? Wait a minute, Ooh. Gov. Yeah! There's old Jessica! Yeah, that's her magic bikini. Um, yeah. <laughs> the better the armor, the less she has to wear! Uh, it's nothing much, but... What's up? Spit it out. Ever since we defeated Dolmagus, and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind. No, it's all right. We knew that you were being uh, controlled, so... Well, we didn't know, but <laughs> still, it's whatever. So I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. Oh, yeah. I, I guess that's kind of true. You did defeat Dolmagus, who technically killed you, but... Rapthorn was behind it all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. Yeah, true. I don't intend to stop searching until we found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, 
I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together. Yeah, I guess so. Not like that's a bad thing. Sorry. Did that come out a bit strange? No, not at all. Really? Thanks. You're sweet. You know that? Yeah. Well, no, no problem. <laughs> Better than it was uh, was an Angelo. I don't. I wonder if uh, if it had been Angelo, what would she have said? It'd have been cool to to maybe check out. But I don't think. I think they're always going to be the hero who uh, does the talking. But regardless, let's uh, head on over to the inn. Real, actually, the inn's uh, up this way. Yeah, we've uh, taken care of all the shopping. Um, you know, seriously though, I do recommend the magic bikini right about now because. Uh, it reduces spells uh, by 15 uh, points, which is awesome. Really good for Jessica because her HP is pretty low. Uh, she does, however, miss out on like all the experience that you know the boys you know got. So not much we can do about that though. But we can remedy that you know in a bit. So let's go ahead and uh, sleep in the inn now because we can definitely use uh, the HP and all that fun jazz. And uh, yeah. Welcome to Dreamland, Sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. Even if Father and I are still cursed. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange though? But you weren't affected by the curse. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. Ah, no mention of uh, David, but that's okay. Yeah, we do have Jessica back, though, so that's always good. Uh, yeah, so, um... Let's see, and yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, we're all rested up, which is awesome. Now, um, there is a, we're not gonna go north yet. We're actually gonna call an episode fairly soon. But um, before we head north, what I wanna do is I'm gonna come over, I wanna show you uh, where you can find a, uh, another monster. Actually, we're, uh, what we should do uh, is uh, we're gonna, um, I'm actually gonna warp to a Rhydon's Tower real fast. Uh, I wanna go ahead and uh, collect another monster. Um, you know, we're, we're doing it just for just for the coin and just to show you where it is. Uh, we're not going to use that on, on our team because it's pretty bad, so right, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's uh, make our way over here this way. Now, um, actually, let me check my alchemy pot. I think our alchemy pot may be ready to, uh, may be ready. Let me see. No, but it'll, uh, it'll happen really soon. Uh, yeah, so I'll be ready for that. Let's see, go ahead and pull out the uh, bomb rinse bell. And uh, let's uh, go on another adventure. Yay! We're not gonna, like I say, not gonna go completely all the way north to where we need to go. Uh, but you know, we'll make do. So uh, yeah, let's uh, come on over here at least a way. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, we're gonna come up over here to uh, this spot because I recall. Let me see. Uh, it's a little bit over. I think it's a little bit over this way. Is it over here? This way? Yeah, we need to go up here. This is the way. At least the way. Actually, no, wait. Oh, my God. Am I doing that right? Yeah, okay, there is. Like, wait a minute. I think I'm going the wrong way. Wait a minute. How's this? What? Actually, in that battle, I uh, forgot to uh, give, um... I forgot to give Jessica her shield back. I noticed that. I was like, wait a minute. That's what I was uh, forgetting. I was forgetting to give her uh, her white shield back. Yeah, we now have two of those, which is uh, kind of nice. We uh, spent a little bit of time making one for... Uh, for Angelo as well, so yeah, and that was just a troll in that battle, nothing too special. So let's uh, make our way over here this way. I was like thinking, wait a minute, what am I doing? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Uh, here it is. Alright, this guy, this guy is, uh, Gloopy Groopy. Uh, not much of a challenge at all. Just go ahead and, you know, go, actually, I, I, what am I I'll just do that, do that, do that, and then you do that, and he will die in a moment. I just wanted to show you this monster. We're just killing him for the coin, pretty much, so nothing special. And uh, he got high evasion, apparently. Kind of cool, I guess. But that'll do it. Yeah, super easy. All right, there we go. And one coin, yay! All right, and a copper coin, yay! And he rises up again, yay! We say hey, no, yay! And yeah, that's what happens when you say no. They just trundle off. So, yeah, sorry, but he's a pretty bad monster. So yeah, he's pretty good if you want to do like a full slime team. But after that, though, not all that great. 
So uh, let's go back to our ugly pot, because I'm pretty sure that uh, this should uh, be uh, boiling over right now. There you go. Okay. And for that, we get the Life Bracer. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, but we're going to be using that for something else a little bit later. Now, let's see. I don't think there's anything I want to make right now. Yeah, we're going to hold out on making anything at the moment. Uh, because, well, there's nothing that we need right now. All right, anyway, uh, what I want to do now is I want to actually heal, uh, not heal. I want to go to, um, Princess Mini because we've gotten quite a few uh, mini medals and we haven't, uh, deposited them yet. So I think we get a really good item if, uh, we give her, uh, you know, give her the ones that we have right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to call it an episode. Uh, in the next episode, I'll tell you now is, um... I'm going to meet you guys uh, at that cave that was to the north of Rhydon's Tower, past the church. Uh, I'll meet you at the entrance of that cave. Um, you know, because, yeah, that's where we need to go next. So, I'm going to talk to uh, old Princess Minnie here. And uh, what do we get for everything here? All right. So, uh, brings our total to 61. So, we get a meteorite bracelet, or bracer. And uh, now, um... That you brought 61, uh, 68 medals, you get a miracle sword, and that thing is good. <laughs> now, the meteorite bracelet is a uh, bracer. I keep calling bracelets, I don't know what's up with me. But uh, this thing, 50 agility. Very, 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 very good accessory. Now, we're gonna go and give this to, um, uh, to Yangus. The reason why is because he's not very fast, and I like to have like a boost of an attack up. Um, so that's why I end up, you know, always, almost always giving it to him. Now, we're going to go ahead and give the, um... <gasps> oh, let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and give the, um... We'll give him the, uh, the, um, agility ring because we like him to be fast too. A little bit faster than Jessica so we can get healing in. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it there. So, uh, with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.